Hello guys and welcome back once again in the new lecture of react native and in today lecture I will show you that how we can create a new project with expo so first of all we will open google chrome and type here react native so the official document of the react native will be open we will click on the development environment in my previous lectures I have created lectures on react native cli quick start so if you did not watch my previous lectures that how we can create a react native project with cli so i have given the link in the description box so you can watch so in today lecture we will create a react native project with expo so here all the instructions for expo is given that how we can create a new project we just copy this line and open the terminal here increase the size of the terminal go into the desktop folder and and type here command for creating a new expo project so after typing we just type here enter so project will be created on the desktop folder so it will take some time so we will wait for it now project has created successfully and here instructions is also showing that your project is ready and run for the project so here command is also given for running the project so we can follow these lines and also the instructions is given here so first of all we go inside the project so we will type this command and go inside the project and here you can run the project with this command for android and this command for ios suppose we want to first run the project for android so we just copy this command and type here so the project run on the android emulator so this type of commands will be show after running the expo command but the emulator is not showing so with the help of the command plus c you can exit from the current running command and we run again the npm run android so here the current emulator will be show which emulator we have added with the android studios so the android build is running on the emulator so when we run this commands so instructions is showing here so this app is running on the pixel xl api 30 so this is the emulator i have added with my android studios so if you want to run this application on the android device so you will just follow the given instructions so here instructions is given that scan the qr code so we will scan this qr code with expo go app so expo go app is actually a app and available on the app store and google play store so if you want to run this application on the android device so you just install the expo go app into the android device and inside the expo go app you will scan this qr code and you can run the application on your android device and if you want to run this application on the ios device so you just install the expo go app from the app store inside your apple device and just use the camera app for scanning this qr code and open the expo app and your application will be see inside your expo app inside your apple device we are running this application on the android emulator so it will take some time so we just wait for it so sometime emulator is not show so we just again exit from the current project and run this command again so now the emulator is opened and you can see so this is the instructions for the expo app you can press command plus m on the mac os and control m on the other platform so if you continue this so you will see here other commands you can disable fast refresh here and open the debugger from here and show the performance monitor so these commands you can use and if you want to reload we can just click on it so this time i am not reloading it we can just closing from here and this message is showing from our application so we just open our application into the text editor so simply this time i am using visual studio so open the visual studio code 
and and our created project will be see here so we open the project and just drag and drop here so the project will be opened so this message actually showing from the app.js so we can change this message suppose i am typing here and just i save it so immediate changes will be show on the emulator so changes is not showing here so we can type here command plus m and we can reload here yeah so now message is showing so sometime it can create a some issue so we just again type here 111 and again save it so the immediate changes is showing here so it is a refreshment issue so if you face this type of issue you can reload your application so now i am removing it and save again and check that immediate changes is showing on the emulator yeah so here shortcut key is also given for open the android you can press simply a and open the emulator you can simply press i and open the debugger you can simply press j and reload the app you can simply press r so this actually given for the shortcut suppose just i want to run this application on the simulator so control plus c for stopping the server and just again i run and type here npm run ios so actually this command also display when we create our new project so this is the command for running ios so we just type this command and enter so now the application will be run on the simulator for running the application on the simulator so xcode should be installed in your system and if you want to run your application on the emulator so android studio should be installed in your system so now the simulator is opened here and it will take some time because here installing the expo go app on the iphone se so it will take some time and after this the application will be run on the simulator so now the alert box is asking that we can cancel it or open open it so we will open it so actually this is the instruction same as showing on the emulator so we can continue it so when we continue it so you can see here shortcut keys suppose you can disable fast refresh from here you can open js debugger and you can reload it but now i am closing this so now message is showing here suppose i want to change in it and now i am saving it so immediate changes will be show on the simulator so like this you can run your application on the emulator and on the simulator so i hope this video is very helpful for understanding how we can create an expo app in react native so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel thanks for watching